Hello YouTube, welcome to this video. And it's another My Sipo Lysis series. And this one comes and looks like that. Really cool. A zipper like this stopped an enemy bullet in Vietnam and it still works today. During the 1960s, Sergeant Andres Martinez was lighting in was fighting in the front line, Alphen, South Vietnam, an enemy bullet hit the sergeant in the left breast pocket right smack in the middle of the Zippo lighter. The lighter got renified and Sergeant Martinez didn't. And <clears throat> I'll just quickly show, I'll show you the lighter. That's got a granite grey finish. You authentic Zippo mark there and their famous hinge there. So pretty cool looking. Okay. Comes with a magazine, pictures from magazine at the end. Now you have to imagine it's nineteen sixty five. Zippo lighter is many things to its owners. Elegant, beautiful, functional, dependable, windproof, of course. But for some small number of those owners, Zippo has been something else of incalculable value. For a few lucky, for a lucky few, can a soldier whose experiences in 1965 inspired the latest lighter in your collection. Zippo has another unique quality. It's bulletproof. It was never designed to be bulletproof. However, in 1997, Luis Messina contacted Zippo for thanking him for the life-saving intervention of one of its lighters when his gun discharged by accident. The lighter is shown here, along with his letter. That's, of course, the contents page. So, pretty damaged lighter. Research from Zippo's archives reveals some fascinating accounts. The earliest recorded incidents comes from the World War II. In 2006, Lee Roy Boyce, who was 85, related her in the 7th Army landed in southern France in 1944 pulled out Zippo and when it fell to light, it found the dent had been left by a bullet. Decades later in the Vietnam War, similar experiences happened. And another a Zippogram newsletter was created called and Sergeant Andrews Martin is recalled how he pulled his Zippo lighter from the vest pocket to find a hole where the bullet struck it. In 1967, a similar story with Private John Compass. And so it goes on in the military. Also, civilians have had to be thankful for just seeing a Zippo lighter. Zippogram from 1978. Featured a security guard from San Francisco who was shot by a rubber and his zippo stopped one of the bullets. In 1993, the Chicago Tribune told her a student survived mugging because the zippo intercepted the bullet at close range. And in 2010, a shot was fired at TV station in the Seattle area, but the guy who was being shot at, the Zippo, saved him. So, there's some pictures. As I said, pictures at the end. Another damaged Zippo. And the various stories.
Stopping bullets. As I explained, Zippo produced a letter in 1966 about Martin is near miss. And that is the advert. Up there. Which basically says, if any Zippo lighter ever fails for it to work, we'll fix it for free. The Zippo stopped an enemy bullet in Vietnam and it still works today. Um, what else? In 2010, Zippo launched a model a mock bullet hole. And that model is there. As I said, this is a mod model they sent me once again. RJ's never been shot at, and I don't own a gun. Okay, back in 1965. Starting the 2nd of March, the bombing campaign known as Operation Rolling Thunder signals an escalation of the involvement of the US in Vietnam. And the miniscopes were the rage in the UK. And capital punishment got abolished. Okay, final subject. The slimming success story. Slim models have been part of Zippo's world famous Lyster family for over half a century. Through the decades, their basic design has undergone only minor changes and they're attractive and solid, of course. They were launched in 1955 after some prototypes in 56. Some of the most collectible slim Zippo lighters were a metal cobra head wheel guard in the chimney. And in 1957, the wheel guards were broken off the remaining inventory because it was found to interfere with it. But they're still very collectible because they're there. Main the Slim Zippo lighter has remained, maintained a constant presence in Zippo product line since the mid 50s. And some. Models there, yeah. pictures as I said at the end of the video. And the top one, in case you missed it, was about Hertz. Two slim Zippo lighters in the 2009 sparked even more brightly than the company's other claimed offerings. The Deep and Queen's lighters pictured both featured crystallised Swarovski elements. Swarovski of Watton's Austria is famous for producing luxury brand precision cut crystals. And so they were quite expensive I imagine. And <coughs> Zippo's have been disintegrated with military. <coughs> Sorry, my voice has gone. Information is signaled as an imagery, and one was this, this slim Zippo featuring a US Bueller Wood launched in 1977. So, and then one final thing I've just noticed in the early days of Zippo. Slim lighters. They also did a rooster design, which you can see there. The Devon Queen expensive ones over there. And down there, the ship. Okay, that's about it from me. Just say, 
next week is the motorcycle club and that's said lighter again which I received in the post number 18 of 80 photos from the book follow next stay lit and give this video a thumbs up